In this video, I'll show you the simplest way to do color grading and get amazing skin tones in Photoshop. I'll share a few examples, so stick with me for the next 5 minutes. Okay, let's do this. So go to layer here, new fill layer, and then select solid color here. This panel is going to pop up, just click OK here. So this color picker panel is going to pop up. Just go down here on this box and type D28262 and then click OK. Select the layer mask here. On the keyboard, hold Ctrl or Command, then press I to invert the layer mask. Like this, go to your tools and select the brush tool. Make sure the opacity is at 100%, the flow is at 100%, and then just paint the model's skin. Let me just zoom in a little bit, Ctrl or Command plus on the keyboard, like this. I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger using the brackets on the keyboard and paint my model's skin like this. So if you like this video or if you've learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe and smash that bell icon so that when I put up my next video, you will be notified. So just paint the model skin, don't paint the lips, don't paint the eyes, don't paint the eyelashes, don't paint the eyebrows, just the skin. So from here, go to blend mode and change it from normal to soft light like this. So this is the before. This is the after, this is the before, this is the after. If the effect is too much, you can always reduce the opacity here, like this. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. So if you're using the latest version of Photoshop, do this instead. Let me just delete this layer here. Let me just drag it and drop it on this bin icon. So go to your tools and then select the object selection tool here. Go on top here where it says select people, left click on it and then you see this thumbnail of your image, just left click on the thumbnail like this. So here you can just select whatever you want to select from your image. So I just want to select the skin, so I'm going to select the facial skin here, I'm going to include the nose, the upper body skin, the arms, the hands and the ears. And then I'm just going to click apply here. So Photoshop I just made a selection of the things I picked. So from here, just going to go to layer here, new fill layer and select solid color here. This panel is going to pop up, just going to click OK. This color picker panel is going to pop up, just going to come here and type D28262 and then click OK here. I'm going to go to blend mode and change it from normal to soft light here. I'm going to go to my tools and select the brush tool. Make sure the opacity is at 100%, flow is at 100%, and then I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Before I start painting, I'm going to select the layer mask here. And then I'll just paint on the edges to fine tune my selection, like this. So I'm going to zoom out, Ctrl or Command minus on the keyboard, like this. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. If the effect is too much, I can always reduce the opacity here. 55%, this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. So now, let me show you how you can get different skin tones. So I'm going to go to my files, then I'm going to drop my swatches here. I'm just going to click OK here. So these are my custom swatches. So on the solid color here, I'm going to double click on it. And then the color picker panel is going to pop up. So instead of adding the color code here, I'm just going to pick the skin tones from here, like this. For this image, I think I'm going to select this one here. And then I'm going to click OK. Then I'll just disable the swatches here, like this. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. If the effect is too much, you can always reduce the opacity here. So if you want more of this effect, you can take the opacity all the way to 100%. But this is too much for my liking, so I'm going to drop it maybe to, to maybe 50%. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. So if you want me to send you these swatches for free, let me know in the comment below. I'm going to send you a link where you can download these swatches. So let's move to this image here. So go to your tools here and select the object selection tool here. Go to select people, click on the thumbnail, from here, I'm just going to select the facial skin and then I'm going to include the nose, the ears, the upper body skin. Then I'm just going to click on apply here. Go to layer, new fill layer, then select solid color here. This panel is going to pop up. Just click OK here. The color picker panel is going to pop up. 
just come down here and type B16937 and then click OK here. Go to blend mode and change it from normal to soft light. Go to your tools and select the brush tool. Make sure the opacity is at 100%, the flow is at 100% and the layer mask here is selected and then just bend the edges like this. So this is the before, this is the after. If the effect is too much, you can always reduce the opacity here. This is the before, this is the after. So I'm going to go to my files, then I'm going to drop my swatches here. Just going to click OK and zoom out a little bit. OK, so I'm going to go to my tools and select the move tool and then just drag this down here. Just going to double click on the solid color adjustment here. The color picker panel is going to pop up. Then I'm just going to pick the skin tones. So for this image, I can pick this one or even this one is OK. And then click OK here. I want to disable the swashes here. So this is the before. This is the after. Let me just zoom in a little bit like this. Go down on this circle. I want to left click on it and select color balance. On the mid-tones here, I'm going to drag the cyan to 10. Magenta, I'm going to leave it at 0. Yellow, I'm going to take it to negative, negative 5. On the tone here, I'll change it from mid-tones to shadows. Cyan, I'm going to leave it at 0. Magenta, I'll leave it at 0. Yellow, I'm going to take it to plus 5, like this. I'm going to change it from shadows to highlights. Cyan, I'm going to leave it at 0. Magenta, I'm going to leave it at 0. And then yellow, I'm going to take it to plus 5. And then I'm going to close this panel. So this is the before, this is the after. If the effect is too much, I can always reduce the opacity here. So this is the before, all the adjustments. This is the after, this is the before, this is the after. If you want to retouch fast and level up your retouching skills, you should check out my Beauty Retouching Actions Pack. The links will be in the video description below. And if you'd like to learn how to get unlimited color grades in Photoshop, you should check this video here.